This week on Channel 8 News, we look at the Constitution Day event, Student Senate, and we dive deep on another student here at Northwest. Your Channel 8 News starts right now. Thanks for tuning in to Channel 8 News, the show where we provide the latest news coverage on the Northwest Missouri State University campus and in the Maryville community. I'm Dylan Davis. And I'm Jillian McNamara. Before we get into this week's stories, be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for all the latest news and updates. The month of September is Hispanic Heritage Month. Throughout the month, the Office of Diversity and Inclusion held events to commemorate Hispanic heritage. The last event being held was a screening of the movie Mi Familia, a movie about one family migrating to California and the hardships they encounter. This screening was followed by a discussion about the movie. In other news, this past Monday, September 18th, was Constitution Day. Volk held a Constitution Day event, including trivia and other events. Jacob Mustard reports. Northwest Missouri State University hosted a gathering to celebrate Constitution Day. The Department of Humanities and Social Sciences put on this event every year for students to come and learn something new. Well, we have trivia, we have snacks, and we have a genuine love and interest in expanding our knowledge of the Constitution. So who doesn't want that? Dr. Bronson Herrera has some insight on why they created this event and are happy to host it. So actually a state mandated, we, we have uh, the state uh, requires that we do this as part of our funding. However, I enjoy the event and want to be a part of it because I do care that students have an understanding of the Constitution and, uh, and, and, and to know how the government's formed and how it functions. At this event, participants gathered into groups to compete in trivia as well as answering a hypothetical question to start the night. Water and snacks were provided for students to grab when they entered or throughout the event as needed. The prizes for winning trivia besides the knowledge you gain were some nice Northwest mugs and pins. Here's an example of one of the trivia questions that was presented to students and you have an opportunity to play along. We will give you five seconds to make your guess wherever you are watching from. Time's up. The answer was C, a majority of the house. The Constitution is important, but don't just take my word. This is what Dr. Marilis Kastberg Leonard had to say. There's a lot that's going on in the world right now that has a lot of basis in the Constitution, and to get students to understand what that basis is without watching you know, a news program that may be biased would be great. Here are some things that you would gain from attending this event in the future. I want them to realize that learning can be fun and interactive is one thing, uh, and, and most importantly that they have a constitution and that it impacts their day to day, whether they realize it or not, and whether it's direct or not, sometimes it's indirect. After the trivia concluded, the battle was finally over and the winning group was handed out their prizes. Everyone was able to grab some snacks for the road as they headed home, which wraps up the coverage of the Constitution Day event. For the stories that matter to you, I'm Jacob Mustard with Channel 8 News. This event not only informs students about the importance of the Constitution, but gives them the opportunity to test their knowledge on the Constitution. In other news, Northwest has moved up on the ranking of schools in the Midwest. Northwest ranks 22nd best school in the Midwest, which is a 13 rank improvement from last year when Northwest was ranked 35th. The ranking puts Northwest at number three from schools in Missouri, trailing behind UCM and Truman State University. When we return, we'll be diving deep into a student's life here on campus. You're watching Channel 8 News on KNWT. Kirsten, what are you doing here? What do you think I'm doing here? Making TikToks? And it's not about what I do. It's about what we do here. So we start with storyboarding the content we want to create for our clients. It could be anyone from small businesses, nonprofits, and organizations both on campus and in the Maryville community. We write, we film, we edit, we create, and then we wait. So if you're someone who thinks you need us, we are KNWT Creative Services. This week we dive into the suit of Darth Vader, show off a few new packs for this semester, and even get a special interview with one of our new members. 
Check it out on Nerd Central every Wednesday at 6 on KNWT TV. Welcome back to Channel 8 News, the show for all things Northwest. I'm your host, Jillian McNamara. I have Darren Ross with me here today. Darren is a first generation senior studying computer science. Darren is a very involved student on campus and may be a familiar face to some. So Darren, can you tell me a little bit about what it means to be a first generation student, kind of what that is, what it means to you, and I guess kind of how it's affected your life here at Northwest. Yeah, sure, Jillian. So a first generation student is any immediate family member who has not been attending a four-year university. So in my case, no one in my immediate family has attended a four-year university, and actually some of my um, family of behind hasn't either. So for me personally, it's affected me in the sense that I don't have resources that many other people might have due to the fact that other previous family members or family in general might have been able to show them with being able to attend a four-year university. So I do have a little bit of a discrepancy there, but you know, you learn over along the way. So it has affected me a little bit though. So your name is little known around campus. Mm -hmm. Can you tell us um, what organizations you're a part of? Oh my, so I'm a part of a minority men's organization. I'm actually the president of that organization. I'm a part of the 101st Student Senate um, body as the inclusion chair. And I'm also a, a member of TRIO, Student Support Services, um, Black Student Union, African Student Union, International Student um, Organization. Um, or African Student Organization, I'm apologize, and um, International Student Organization, and just a heap of other things, honestly, that I'm not technically considered a member of, but I attend plenty of the events. Oh, gosh. Well, it sounds like you stay pretty busy. Um, and you mentioned being president of Minority Men's Organization. Yeah. So how do you balance being president um, of MMO and your school life? I usually typically keep my president, or I should say keep my organization and student life kind of mixed, right? So there's cutoff moments when I say, hey, I have to do my homework, so I need to focus on this. I will try to get something for us as an organization together, but not try to force us to do something all the time, right? Because everybody needs that work-life balance, right? So you need to be academically successful first before you are doing your organizations and being involved because we are here to get a degree first after all, right? Mm -hmm. So it sounds like you've learned some valuable lessons here at Northwest. So what would be something that you'd tell your freshman self as a senior now? Don't give up. Don't be hesitant to meet people and please just talk. Learn some new things, right? Because as a freshman, I would honestly say that I was a little more sheltered. I mean, it was COVID year, so it was a little hard to get through. But at the end of the day, we were here to make friends and be a part of things. And now that I am here as a senior, it is so much better to be able to say, I know that person, this person, these um, people can help me, that faculty member can help me, and just have access to so many different people and resources. I hear you, and I definitely agree. So to kind of wrap us up, if you were to kind of have a motto that you live your life by, what, what would that be? My motto is simple, and I'm using it this year, but it is, I cannot be anyone but myself. It is so true, and it's very simple, and I, like I said, it really does just define who I am. All right. You heard it here, Bearcats. Darren said to be nothing but yourself this year. Well, that's all the time we have for Darren. When we come back, we'll take a look at the Student Senate meeting and hear about a volunteering opportunity. You're watching Channel 8 News on KNWT. KZLX is a student-run radio station where Northwest students have complete freedom during their shifts. KZLX also hosts many radio shows such as Nermageddon, Revive, Day-to-Day -Day Picks, and more. To learn more, visit kzlxfm.com. Hello, and welcome to Gen 2 your favorite place for all things gaming and rarely tech related. We have a large assortment of packs for you to choose from. So choose wisely, Traveler. You can watch Gen 2 every Tuesday at 6 p.m. Welcome back to Channel 8 News. Student Senate is a student government organization here at Northwest. They hold their weekly meetings every Tuesday. Dominic Ocampo takes a look at this week's meeting. 
Tuesday, September 19th, Student Senate held their meeting in the ballroom in the Union. All members got together to go over a multitude of topics, and there I was able to catch up with Executive President Elizabeth Motazidi to go over what they were planning on uncovering. We have a multitude of things being covered tonight, um, starting with, in my report, something I'm going to be going over is voter registration. Today is actually National Voter Registration Day, so um, it's the perfect day to go over it. So I'll kind of just go over, um, you know, the pros and cons of, or not the pros and cons, the reasons why you should be voting. Other than voter registration, President Motazidi went on to go over the many speakers they had planned for the event. And then we have a couple of speakers coming tonight. Um, so Dr. Peter Adam will be here, as well as Dr. Malone from the Office of Diversity and Inclusion. And then we have an appropriation tonight for St. Jude's um, for their Harvest Festival coming up. And then we have a new organization coming in. I believe it's it's F Sale or it's for it's for future future students or students who want to have a future in student affairs, and they're coming. Um, tonight to seek interest in becoming an official organization on campus. Dr. Malone and fellow ODI speakers held a big chunk of the Senate meeting's duration. President Motazidi went on to explain why exactly they were present at this meeting. In our bylaws, we do require um, that we have like diversity and inclusion trainings um, happening every semester. And so um, our inclusion committee, which is a part of Student Senate, they actually arranged for Dr. Malone to come tonight and speak. So um, hopefully, I'm sure we'll learn a lot of valuable information and insight into that. The other big presentation that was given on this night was by St. Jude's. They were present to go over their upcoming event. It is to my understanding that St. Jude's is coming tonight because they have a harvest festival coming up and they are seeking um, money to um, plan that harvest festival. And so that I, that I believe that is why they are coming this evening. Outside of President Motazidi, Executive Vice President Lucas Prater was also present. He went over as much as he could in terms of the new dining experiences we should be seeing here at Northwest. Um, I don't know anything special other than, um, you know, what I'd heard we're supposed to be getting. Uh, Qdoba and everything coming, but we don't really know anything other than that. Student Senate seems to be gearing up for a big year, including freshman elections that are to be taking place in the near future. For Stories That Matter to You, this has been Dominic Ocampo with Channel 8 News. In other news, Missouri Hope is looking for volunteers for their annual Missouri Hope Emergency Response Training. They are needing over 600 volunteers over the dates of October 12th through 15th. The role you may have is playing a victim of a natural disaster with fake injuries. For more information, go to the description below. Well, that's all the time we have for Channel 8 News. Be sure to click on the links below to rewatch certain sections of our show, as well as some upcoming events here at Northwest. We also want to hear from you, so leave a comment below if you know of someone making a difference here at Northwest. And be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for the latest news and updates, as well as other content on our YouTube page at KNWT TV. For the stories that matter to you, this has been Channel 8 News. Thanks for watching. on the right to watch some of our content as well as our past episodes. And don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell, and follow us on all our platforms.